This is the coolest box ever. Hey YouTube, Matt here with motherboards.org. Just before the holidays, we took a look at the next unit of computing, an amazing small form factor PC platform from Intel that crams an entire system into a 4x4 motherboard. Now, just recently, Intel has added to the NUC family, and it's pretty exciting news for system integrators, hobbyists, and technology enthusiasts. Now, the NUC lineup debuted with two different model boards, each containing an Intel Core i3 processor, dual mini PCIe slots, and USB. Now, one model sported Thunderbolt, while the other omitted that in favor of, Ether of Ethernet and dual HDMI. Now, either is available with or without a chassis. Now, Intel has a new model, which swaps out the Core i3 for a Celeron 847. The change manages to, manages to shave off nearly $100 from the price tag, giving hobbyists and integrators a cost-effective x86 solution for all kinds of low-power applications. Now, the Celeron might not have the same oomph as the i3-3217U, but not every application needs the performance of an i3. While certainly capable of running a heavier OS like Windows 8, many embedded applications are lighter, customized software that will sing just fine. Now let's take a look at the differences. Both the Core i3 and Celeron 847 are dual core processors. The Core i3 is a 22 nanometer Ivy Bridge part with 3 meg Intel smart cache, beefier graphics, and DDR3 1600 support running at 1.8 gigahertz. Now the Celeron is a 32 nanometer Sandy Bridge processor, so it's a little older with 2 megs of L3 cache, DDR3 1333 support, and it's clocked in at 1.1 gigahertz. Using PC Mark's full and light tests, we can further see that the i3 now clearly has the advantage in performance. But notice how on the light tests, the scores go up for the Celeron, but down for the i3. It's the i3's HD 4000 graphics that heavily skews the performance results with the full test, which includes more tests where graphics play a key role. There is a major difference between the HD 2500 graphics part in the Sandy Bridge chip and the HD 4000 in the Ivy Bridge chip. Now, graphics simply don't play a factor in performance for many different kinds of applications. And that's where the Celeron NUC really starts to show its value. The new Celeron-based NUC won't be the ideal choice in all applications. The extra horsepower in the Core i3 model makes it better for all-around workstation use. But the Celeron model excels when the extra power of the i3 is wasted like in digital signage, embedded, and hobby applications using specialized software loads. But it still, most definitely, could be a lightweight desktop PC or thin client. Regardless of choice, Intel's NUC is continuing to make a big splash as the multi-purpose, small form factor computing device of the future. If you're an Intel technology provider working with Intel products, they've got a special incentive to try a NUC for yourself. Order one of the Core i3 kits to try, and you'll earn 50 flex points. Now check the, out the link in the video description to learn more about that offer, and to also learn more about the Intel Technology Provider program if you're not familiar with it. On behalf of everyone at motherboards.org, thanks for watching.